What is up guys? I bet mostly you thought that I would make another video for a couple of couple of weeks. Till Christmas maybe, but here we are playing the Sheridan uh, Tier 10 American Light Tank. Obviously playing it with the Derp Gun, because you know me by now. And if you don't, well, where is the fun of playing uh, this tank with the little bitchy tryhard gun when there are so many other tanks that you can be a little bitchy tryhard? Uh, so we are uh, derping it around the... Uh, Al Haluf, full tier 10 game. Uh, don't really expect much from these in the Sheridan most of the time. This isn't really the best matchmaking for me either, but we have a blast of a start with shitting on a bat shot for uh, all 915 damage, which is very nice. Because uh, if you look at this matchmaking, there's only like realistically three tanks I could hope to pen, um, and all of them are kind of dodgy with the two bat shots and the T100. They're not really clean pens for. A regular ammunition for this gun but we get off a great start and we uh, improve on that by getting a tracking shot into that gentleman uh, as a light tank player though I don't really want to take too much space I want these guys to give me a bit of room to maneuver and to be able to put in some damage but I clearly am the number two here and I should play like one and I shouldn't occupy the most uh, desired areas with my completely subpar sub tier 10 tank compared to theirs very important when you're playing bottom tier or, you know, just subpar tanks like light tanks in the map like this. If you don't want to do scouting and you want to be brawling with the big boys, please give them room and try to, you know, respect the fact that you're just a light tank at the end of the day. Uh, maybe I'm taking a bit too much space here and uh, denying these heavy tanks some shots, but hopefully it's not too bad. And I'm trying to put in some shots here and there where I can without taking damage in return, hopefully. And so far it's working out, uh, though the enemies seem to be pushing up and uh, our 277s are struggling to fight the fair and balanced Super Conqueror that can just park hull down and uh, masturbate on uh, on its enemies, which is generally how Super Conquerors play. But another good shot into uh, yet another tier 10 heavy tank and we are building up damage after that 900 first shot. We're at 1700 so damage is building up and we haven't taken any in return. Uh, these 277s have been kind of battered but they're still in the fight uh, and we also have a Progetto here now. And again, I am kind of in the best position here, but nobody really wants to, to push me and uh, take this from me, so I am just chilling. Plus, the 277s would probably struggle to get any gun depression here anyways. The Progetto goes in, and I'm trying to line up a good shot on this uh, Super Conk. I probably should have just taken the shot whenever I could, as, uh, you know, uh, if you look back on, the, on this, it couldn't really go uh, any worse for me than it did. I aimed for too long and missed the shot anyway, so uh, yeah, that was not very productive whatsoever, but uh, after the reload we'll be right back in there to try to take up uh, uh, or do some damage to yet another tier 10 heavy tank. He's not too healthy and we do get to finish him off for 372, so rolling very nice on on a tier 10 heavy tank and now our king controls the bottom Porgetto died for it but uh, uh, we supported him well enough to make that trade a good one for our team which is very important uh, when somebody plays sub bar or does some stupid shit you should try to take advantage of it and this Porgetto suicide definitely let us capitalize on it and we can capitalize even more by exposing this guy to a nice little ass inspection very nice to do these in the Sheridan as this inspection patrol here, uh, sending out 15 centimeter Christmas presents, a uh, very seasonal thing. Now these two 77s kind of don't play together too well as uh, the one who kind of ignored this and hoped that we would clean it up uh, meant that uh, yeah, one of the two 77s took a beating from the bat shot, but uh, we end up killing them all, which is very nice. And now, instead of pushing down the heavies with very big guns, I will relocate to try to fuck with people actually that I can fuck with without taking up too much space. And uh, uh, I have this Batchet on my radar, but it doesn't seem that he's gonna let me get a shot. The gorilla is kind of pre-aiming him, and we have a new friend uh, who dies immediately, but... Uh, now we spot an even even a new new friend. So many friends. I don't know what the hell is this cheese wedge doing, but now I see what he's doing. He, uh, yeah, did the thing in the cheese wedge. When the cheese wedge players uh, get to use the keyboard, they often fuck up. And I think this guy fucked up pretty bad, if you ask me. We get a nice, nice little juicy 
juicy panel. Keep moving. Hope that the FV doesn't shoot me, and he doesn't. So we might even come back for round two on uh, flipping the cheese or the flipped cheese. I don't know what they even call that. But our reload ends up being too long, and we just abandoned that uh, idea completely. We're winning this 10-5, and looks pretty comfortable. Uh, we have a couple of campers, and the rest of our team is involved with dealing with the rest of their heavies. But they still have a Type 5 Heavy and a mouse, so can't count them out just yet. And now I have set my eyes on this FV215B. Uh, Sheridan is nice in a way that it's pretty Hesh and HE resistant with all those boxes around it acting as a spaced armor. So it's not the most deadly fight for me. I still don't want to take like 8 900 uh, Hesh shell in the face or if he's shooting AP. Uh, the 1100 and there's always the chance that he just aims well or hits well and just pens me so i don't want to take that either but now me and this batcher has uh, have quite the crossfire set up uh, the batcher goes in first and i follow right after unfortunately or fortunately for me the batcher gets executed so i get to uh, have this guy all by myself and i guess the rd is also involved in this uh hoping to pen his ass just like the conquerors but uh not quite sure if uh, this gun has the pen with the standard ammo to do that and uh, looking at the orange pen mark, I guess it doesn't. Uh, Artie is marking this as a, its target. Weirdly enough, our Artie is actually doing something else than clicking once every 40 seconds or that shit reloads probably in 30. We also have the enemy Artie rushing in, so this is getting interesting. I finished off the FV, I didn't really have to, I could have left my Artie habit, but uh, fuck Artie. And fuck this guy, he misses as well and now we get to enjoy his suffering uh, for a couple of more seconds until we reload. Trying to pull the stunt on me ramming him, but I ain't, I ain't that silly. Uh, pick up him as well and we are moving up to cleaning up the last three heavies. And as you can see, they they did rip our heavies. This game was 10-5 and now it's 12-9 and those two kills were me. So the rest of our team really didn't have a good time dealing with this shit. And can see why mouse and type 5 heavy aren't really the, the easiest targets to take down we go for the outline shot instead of trying to sh hit the blind, blind shot on the is7 as this gun really isn't very accurate and shooting without outlines is really not very recommended and now i could snipe the is7 but i wanted to go for the for the type 5 but now when he dies we might as well aim for this is7 and make sure we deliver one from range before we get in close i go for a greedy shot under him or at least I aim under him, but we hit a pretty average uh, there right in the ass. Uh, should have uh, just gone for the safe shot in the center mass, but I'm a greedy bitch. What can I do? Now we're loading heat. Not a premium shell in this tank. If you're wondering, the premium shell is just paid to win HE, which is just better in every way than regular HE, because, you know, balance. Uh, but uh, the heat is nice for penning shit like IS-7. I don't think we would have had a good time trying to pen the mouse, as I believe the pen is around 150. Uh, so that's not really the mouse killing kind of uh, equipment, but uh, he dies before we need to do anything about it And now this last guy we're just gonna make sure we're gonna put a juicy juicy uh, Heat shell in his ass didn't roll very nice. I think the average on this is 700. I might be wrong I don't use this too much, but that is a wrap All right, so here's the end plate ace tanker 3799 experience with the double 18 bonds and a confederate medal ended up doing 6010 damage uh, 1632 assisted and three kills and i gotta say failing in the shared derp for a lot of games is probably worth having one of these games every once in a while because i don't know about you but i enjoy derping people in the face or doing some proper ass inspection on some unsuspecting heavies or mediums is quite a bit more satisfying to me than uh, than being a little shit shooting with the little shit gun uh, so that's all games like this always keep me going with the derp even though uh, realistically the regular gun is significantly better on average in every way that you can really imagine but uh, the fan factor on this gun for me is definitely much higher and I definitely don't uh, um, think I'll ever change my mind on which gun I'm gonna use on this because I don't really care about the averages I care about games like this way more than I care about the average and uh, yeah this definitely keeps me fueled up to queue up in the Sheridan with the derp gun as for is this light tank actually good well compared to the T100 none of the other tier 10 lights really compete too well against that the shit is just so much better than everything else tier 10 lights have to offer so if you want to be competitive just get the t100 but for some 
shits and giggles the Sheridan with the derp is definitely a unique experience that you might enjoy if you do enjoy your you know mobile derping platform anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one